The third question in my evaluations for Media Studies A2 was what have you learned from audience feedback? The target audience of my music video would typically be fans of indie music, more specifically to artists like Alex Clare in the electro indie genre. These listeners would also be attracted to music videos which did not necessarily show performance or even the artists, a notable trait in music videos by bands such as Crystal Fighters, Arctic Monkeys and Rudimental. This audience would typically fit within the age range of 16 to 20s. Without continuous audience feedback over the process of the products, I believe that it would have been difficult to ascertain whether those you are targeting find your work appealing or not. Thus it helps to improve products and display development and the ability to improve. The internet has proved to be a useful way of collating for audience feedback over a variety of methods. Prior to creating my ancillary tasks of the audience advert, digipack covers, I was easy to discover without what my target audience would feel towards products, which did not necessarily depict the artist. I also wanted to know how the concept of my music video would be received by audience members. Thus, I decided to create a poll of questions on my blog site on blogger.com. I discovered from my survey that 55% of my test subjects would rather a music video that was visually striking than anything else. This then supported my trajectory, as I was aiming for a solely narrative piece that would be visually pleasing. 77% of my target audience also displayed an appeal for music videos with a narrative. However, a small majority did display a greater appeal towards a narrative that involved the artist. Therefore, I had to make a huge judgement as to whether to please everyone or just the majority of my audience. I then made an artistic choice against the majority of, of audience preference as my music video does not display the musical artist within it. 66% agreed that it was not important to see the artist on the digipack and magazine advert, which provided me with the all clear, as it were, to create the ancillary task without the artist's presence. I also learnt that the majority of those feeding back on my blog also fell under the target audience, albeit from the younger end age and from the same geographical location. Having completed the music video, I was intrigued as to what other people from within my target audience would think of my video and how it would be received on a larger scale amongst my desired viewers. I conducted an interview with two of my class peers after screening the video to them and then proceeded to ask them questions on the effectiveness of all my products and whether there was a coherent house theme that ran throughout my video. Their response was generally very positive, though faults were also highlighted and gave me a sense of what needed to be done to further the effectiveness of my video. The interview was then placed on my blog alongside all other mediums of audience feedback.